What's up, people? Welcome back to the Homeless Crusade. As you've well, hopefully you saw in the first episode, yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. am Kevin. This is my boy Ariel, and this is my boy Stena. And you are going to listen to us have conversations about random things. Hopefully, you have an opinion yourself. Please comment. We would like to know how you feel. Also, what do you way, think? Just like, share, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Do all the YouTube stuff. Literally, bro. <laughs> I don't know if they always repeat it in uh, like other yeah. podcasts and stuff, but like uh, we, we know what to do. This. We prefer yeah, if you did the same. But yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Something that I wanted to talk about, well, Stina actually mentioned, well, we spoke about it the last time we met up for the, for the podcast, mm. was that um, um, yesterday I went to an event in PE called Battle Beast. Now, this is actually something that's been happening in PE for a while. It's something similar to um, Red Bull Dance, your style, mm-hmm. for those of you who oh, don't know. Okay, it's okay, something yeah. very similar. This so also links back to the fact that in the last episode, Gabe said he's a b-boy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a b-boy. I was, I used to, I'm a, not anymore. I used to be a b-boy. Retired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, retired yeah, I'm a retired b-boy. b-boy. I hung up my Pumas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hung them up. Yeah. yeah, they're, in a, they're back in a box. They're su- super dusty. But anyway, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so Stina wanted me to explain what Battle Beast is. So Battle Beast was a brainchild by one of my friends, Chislin Mayer, B-Boy Rhythm. Shout out. You, yeah. If, if you are out. in the dance world, in the country, in, in South Africa, and even internationally, you you no, will know the name. Yeah, you know who it is. One of the dopest B-Boys around. Very, very flexible. Very, very... Hard very um, Super yeah, hard working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very... Um, yeah, yeah. What's what I'm looking for? Dedicated. No, like when you... Like when you I'm starting to get to this word now. But when you like... You're an all-rounder. Jack of all trades. Yeah, he's a jack. Like when it comes yeah, to yeah, dance, yeah. He's, he's, he's quite versatile. Down. Very versatile. That's is the, the word, word I'm looking for. Oh, versatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super versatile because he doesn't. He does more than just b-boying. He's also just a general hip hop dancer. Mm-hmm. He is very good at doing like every style yeah, besides yeah. just hip hop as well. Mm-hmm. So this was his brainchild and started in 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, he got me on board to help him with like just like the general graphics of the things because yeah, I'm yeah. an illustrator and a graphic designer. So we I did like the posters and things for him, but the the event was generally aimed. At like there was a youth division, so yeah. there was like a kids section. Did you I think it was which year you started it in? Yeah, 2017. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It started in 2017, and then um there was a junior section, of like I think it was kids 12 and younger. Yeah. I might be. I might. At the for that actually in the inc- including kids. Yeah, in yeah. This, which It was like it was fire. mainly aimed. For fire. Like they were at the time there were like a lot of teens and like young adults who were <coughs> involved yeah. in the dance scene, but like it was more aimed at the kids that like the next generation would like be able to continue things and keep it going. Mm. So um, he had like an under, I think it was under 12 section. I might be, I, again, I, I know that it was a junior section, so it all just kind of depends. Yeah, yeah. But either it was under 12 or under 16. But anyways, there, there was a junior section and then there was for the late teens to early adults. Yeah, yeah. But there would be things like two on two breaking, two on two hip hop, and then like solo categories and stuff as well. Never yeah. did crew on crews because they were never like at that point in time when we started Battle Beast in 2017, the crew thing like died. Really? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel that long ago. Like B- d- boys yeah, it really doesn't. But like the crew thing has been like, it hasn't been a thing for a while now. So that happened in 2017, 2018, 2019. And then COVID just kind of was like, nope, you aren't doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. No contact with Shut people. Shut the world down. Yeah. And then there was- Craziest mean, time. Yeah, yeah. And then there was meant to be one last year, 2022. But unfortunately, it had to be postponed because um, just trying to build everything back up because the momentum like was going in 2019. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So the next one was obviously it was a, it was an event that Chizzy planned so that you would bring in spring with it. It was literally always the first week of September. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like basically like spring day, yeah, weekend yeah. kind of thing. Um, he would have the event and we would always just jump on board. We would do whatever was needed, but the momentum just got lost. No, after really after 2019, 2019 was like the last one. So like, and the thing, the thing that was dope was that every year there was a theme. Mm-hmm. So the first year, <laughs> because the competition was called Battle Beasts, yeah, yeah. literally was like the, on the poster I had like a gorilla fighting a tiger, like legit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Actually, was, you, you, still so have it, you still have it. I still have it. I'll show actually it to you. I'll show. Actually, uh, it's it's on I the Facebook page. Um, if you go back and look, like at the cover picture specifically, and like yeah, yeah. send me some stuff. I'll throw it in the edit. As yeah, well. I can throw it in the edit. Um, but the first year was a little like a gorilla versus tiger because I was like, if I had to think of two animals who I would like think if they had to fight each other, this would be like a proper battle. It wouldn't be like a one-sided thing where like the one would get clapped mm. and the other one would be yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, I, I was like, cool. So like, if I had to think of two animals from two different animal kingdoms who would fight each other, I was like, a gorilla and a tiger would be a really good match to watch. Mm. I would like the gorilla would spank the tiger though. I mean, the tiger is the biggest big cat you can get. And it can also, yeah, yeah. Like a tig- a lion? No, a tiger's, a tiger's bigger than a lion. 
I've never seen a tiger or a lion in my life, so I wouldn't really know. Fun fact also, like, remember we were talking about leg tattoos and Adel, Adel doesn't know that I have last time he met up? Yeah. Wings. So, uh, he didn't know I had the wings last time. Yeah. Ankles. I also have a tiger on my left calf. Really? <laughs> yeah, but it's, but it's a tiger. You, you don't be showing your I'm legs gonna, in public. How am I going to drop trowel yeah. for you to see that? Yet? <laughs> no, oh, no, wow. Wow. <laughs> how am I going to do that? But anyway, so, like, yeah, That's I have a tiger crazy. made of tiger steps, but not the point. And then so yeah, twi- yeah. 20, 2017 was that, and it was held at... Um, Shag Barbershop in Barkins Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope setup. The place was amazing. There were people like upstairs on like the upper section looking down. There was people at the bottom. Oh, like on, proper, proper. Like, on barber, like the, the, the judges of the comp chilling on barbers chairs. It was yes, dope. Yeah, it's oh. sick though. I don't no, know. No, no, actually, I'll, I'll find the, maybe you can also throw it in the edit because mm. there is, if you go back on the page and mm-hmm. look, you'll see there's yeah. a compilation video you can see it, uh, yeah, yeah. of the day. That was when we were speaking about where we said Zabo was the MC. Mm-mm-mm. Shout out to Zabo. Shout out to Zabo. Um, yeah, so then 2018 happened and then the theme was like 80s hip hop kind of thing. Like I went through with like a full Adidas tracksuit and like Adidas yeah, yeah, yeah. superstar sneakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I, I don't wear floppy, so I had like a oh. state P cap done backwards. Oh. And so like that was, the, so like every year there was a theme and like the cool thing um, for the 2019 theme was like, it was kind of weird, but um, it worked out amazingly. Yeah. Because the, the theme was um, like pop culture, like but like like nerd pop culture. Yeah. So the logo that I made for Battle Beast 2019 was like the name Battle Beast and then it was 2019. Yeah. But the word 20 was based off of the Marvel logo and 19 was the number 19 and it was based off the DC logo. Oh, so I smacked so it okay, together. Okay, okay. And then they had like all sorts of like, it was hype building up to it. So like you, they would, they, they would tell you like, yo, if you're coming through to Battle Beast dressed up as a character, like, Upload your, pit- uh, upload your pictures, crazy show us what you're going to come as. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, this is the, I think Adel knows about this because I, I, I kept it a secret for like a long time. So no one knew. But because of the, uh, okay, not with the braids, but yeah, yeah, yeah. on a normal day, I would have like my hair just like loose hanging down, dang it. But back then I used to have my hair shorter. So like the whole comb over yeah, that thing. Yeah, last time I saw your hair was like, pretty shorter. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, I yeah. had a fade the last time you saw me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I'm like, when I came in, I'm like, <laughs> who's this? Like oh, so it is actually Kim. I'm like, oh, because I saw, I saw <laughs> on the side, I'm like, whoa, okay. Yeah. So at that point in time, 2019, I had like the hair that you knew me for having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we met in 2019. Cause yeah, yeah, for the flight uh, episode. Yeah, the flight yeah, episode yeah, was in 2019. Yeah, yeah. So like I had Dan's like, Dan's Shout out Dan too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like I went to, um, we, we had a group, right, with all the, because we had workshops. Every year for Battle Beast, they would have workshops. So, like, everybody who did a specific style would host a workshop and you would have yeah. it, like, at a venue. So, we had workshops at um, this one, I think it's, a, it's an orphanage in Newton Park near near Greenacres. Yeah, yeah. We had, a, we had workshops there for two days. It was over a weekend. And all the all the instructors of all the workshops we were all in a group together. So, we're all just, like, discussing, like, so what are you going to do for your costumes? And everybody was obviously roasting me because I look like every main character from most fighting games. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, of course. Oh, wow. So they were like, oh, Kev's probably going to come as Ryu or like no. Jin from Tekken yeah, or yeah, like yeah. Liu Kang from Mortal yeah, Kombat. Ah, yeah. you know. And then like, I was like, I was like, okay, fine, you know what? I'm gonna like, you know how you do with the whole standard name thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just counteract the thing. Switch like, it. You know? switch and I'm playing to him and be like, no, it's cool. So like, I was sending in random pictures because like, to shut up, Specifically, Junior. Shout out, Junior. You know, I'm a boy. You know, I love you, but I want yeah, to yeah. shut Junior up because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like working on me. Yeah, yeah. So Junior's like, "Yeah, no, Kev, you can be anyone. You could be this person, this person." Like he's like, but he was like roasting me while he was doing it. So I literally went onto Google. I downloaded every picture I could find of every game or movie or comic character that had like my basically the same features. skin color as me, the hair texture as yeah, mine, yeah, yeah, the yeah. features as mine, and I just flooded the group. I sent like 17 pictures all at once. I was like, yeah, the world's my oyster. I can pick anyone I want. <laughs> but then the day comes, right? Yeah. The day comes. And you pull that bears. No, you'll see. What I'll, I'll pull it to it. So like, yeah, yeah. the day comes and nobody like has any idea of what everybody's going to wear. Like, well, yeah. everybody thinks they have an idea of what I'm going to wear because yeah. I already sent like all these options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, going to be one of these. Did yeah, you yeah. send so one, like a photo of the person that you of went me? to? Yeah. No, 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 I didn't at all. Okay. Did you see it though? What? I think you do. I, think I was there. Yeah, yeah so you I were know there. Who you you, so you know yeah. who I went is. So like, I pull up, right? So the night before, literally the night before, Shout out to the knee, Mouse. He he came through Shout super. Out. He came he came through super hard for me this day. So I I called him, and um, he was like, "Yeah, what's up? Listen, Bram, I'm gonna send you a picture on WhatsApp. Just please let me know if you can cut me like this. Send it to him. He's like, send me a picture of your hair now. I need to see what what I'm dealing with. So I sent him a picture of like like the whole 360 of my head. He's like, Bram, come through come through Friday night before the gig. I was like, cool, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. Get to him. Get my hair cut. Now everybody's kind of wondering like. Why is Kevin cutting his hair this way? Like I'm cutting my hair into a very, very specific hairstyle. And then from there, 
I, no, no, no. I went to go and get my costume first, and then I yeah. went to it there, and then when I, I cut me, and they're like, but nobody knows I've got the costume. So I'm like, why is he cutting his hair like this? The next day comes the gig is on a Saturday, like in September. Oh no, it was in October actually, yeah. in 2019. I get to the gig, I'm wearing regular clothes, like t-shirt, pants, mm. whatever. I go yes. to the bathroom, because everybody's like, yo, you have like, but but uh, the hairstyle is enough to fool somebody, like, because yeah. it's like it looks specific, but also it could be. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. like a, it would be like um, if a a black guy came in with a like you know the the dreads but like thrown forward. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. With the fade. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, you could be Miles Morales, you could be Killmonger. It's like yeah, it could yeah, be yeah, anyone. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your fit first, and I'll oh, know who yeah. you are. I go into the bathroom, right? <laughs> I come back out, yeah. and people's faces literally were like, "What? Yeah, yeah. We were not expecting this." You I didn't want the switcheroo. Let me explain. So yeah, I walk yeah, up yeah. with a full from the, the good like old switcher. Like Always, you can it see works. The, like the neck of how my t-shirt looks now. Like it's literally on my throat, like the the ribbing. It's not like a loose fit t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like from here, like there's a photo as well. Now. There are photos. Mm. Yeah, we'll provide it for like out of the throat into the edit. But so literally the same neckline that I've got with this t-shirt now, down to my wrists, right down to my ankles, right. Full yellow jumpsuit with black stripes running down my arms and down my body, down my legs. What the Proper Bruce Lee bowl haircut. I came oh. through as Bruce Lee from the movie Game of Death. Yes. Like Sick, with actually. the nunchucks and everything. People saw me, they were like, yeah, there's no way you came through but no, with this. I have a question though, because like when you got me at the door, I think you were already full kitted out now. You yeah. Oh, you saw the it. fit? Yeah, yeah, I was there. You, was oh, yeah, there. Yeah. you came through as but well. Now. I put the zip on. I Your daughter? The on the back. Oh yeah, Violet had. So, no, we're like, I just, I spoke to my mom and I was like, listen, can we do this? Like, let me Bring know, it if, through later let me know if, we need, if we need to buy things. And she was like, can I school tomorrow? She'll oh, okay. help, help and make it. So then um, myself, well, my daughter and I, Violet, we went through to Battle Beast 2019 as basically Bruce and Shannon Lee. Because she had like, she had her hair tied up like super tight, like yeah, a yeah, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. little bun. And she had like her own little suit on as yeah, well. Basically yeah, yeah. had the same thing yeah, on. We had the exact yeah, yeah, same yeah. thing on. But I had mine made with this, like, I still have one. I, I actually bought it. That, 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 that was a well orchestrated sort of thing. Yeah. Proper switcheroo. Wait, you went yeah. the full yeah. distance with yeah. that. Yeah, no, I was gonna. Even the whole haircut, bro. Yeah, I cut my yeah. hair. Like, cause people were I like, "Oh, that's so cool." I for that. Mm. Yeah, like people were like, "That's a cool wig." I'm like, "No, that's actually my real hair." I really, c- I cut my hair into the hair cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even like, w- I took a photo with Wait, my barber. Like, is it like a bowl cut? It was like the whole like the, my hair was like literally right above my eyebrows, like yeah. cut down, and it was like cool. Like he, yeah, bra- yeah. he even told me like, okay, when you brush your tomorrow, brush and then you sweep the the bottom in. So, oh, so okay. whole thing, yeah, yeah, like I had the whole Bruce Lee cut for that that gig. You know, just so it was doing dope. Backflips like, afterwards. Oh well, no, not really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do a backflip. Imagine, imagine the first thing you pulled up and you just did a backflip. Yeah, I mean Hilarious. that would have been insane. But like, yeah. yeah, but people were like, whoa. But it was it was dope. Um, but like this year, the the theme was um for Battle Beasts this year. There was like a massive gap between so like the Battle Beasts. Competitions like I'll, I'll I'll keep show you the the, um, the graphics and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like Battle Beast 17, 18, 19, and then it's like twenty three because yeah, yeah, yeah. for three years there was nothing mm-hmm. going on, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this year the theme was fifty years of hip hop. Oh yeah. And oh yeah, yeah, everything yeah. Everything was graffiti themed this year, which was dope. Mm-hmm. They even got um a graffiti artist because like every year when the guys win, we would make like trophies or like some kind of thing. So mm-hmm. for the first Battle Beast had like this wooden block piece of glass with like the Battle Beast logo, like sand blast, which was really nice. Yeah. And then the following so year, I had this guy, because the Battle Beast logo, the first logo has a silhouette of a guy upside down doing like a hand sign with one hand, yeah. like a b-boy pose kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then we had that cut out of like, we had that scene set out of plastic and also put into like a wooden base with each category, like like a plaque kind of thing on it. That yeah. was dope as well. And then 2019 we had like, because dancers are so used to when you when you win at an event, you don't get given like a medal or like a trophy. Yeah. You get given like this little, Black certificate thing. So yeah. it was like, okay, cool, let's stay true to what but, but what yeah. they normally do. Yeah, yeah. So 2019, they got those. And then, but it was like, the font was like heavy, like Street Fighter looking, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. paintbrush. You also did that, that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah. And then this year, they got actual like handmade um, black tag things. Yeah, yeah. But there was a, a graffiti artist who actually like physically Straight. graffitied on these little A4. Plaques. It was really dope. Actually, I, s- yeah. I wish I wish I could. Actually, I actually wish I could have been there, man. It was Next dope. year, we'll go. Yeah, no. yeah, okay. yeah. yeah But the more. event is up. I'm I'm hoping that it actually picks up more traction again now because it's like it's basically because of COVID and all the things that happened. It's basically like starting from scratch because and like there was a three year gap of um, nothingness. I think a promo video vibe now where they will 
Do yeah, freestyle. So they've been they've been trying to they they did put up um like on the Instagram story and Facebook yeah. story and stuff, but like at the same time it's like you have to rebuild that crowd that you used to have. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because of like that core following. Yeah, because of there was like nothing going on for like mm-hmm. two, three years is a long time for nothing to be yeah. happening. Yeah, and you don't three have years is a while. three years. To, to have enough content from previous stuff for three years is insane. Yeah, 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 yeah facts, facts. Just to maintain a yeah, no because um consistent vibe. Twenty eighteen, there was a lot. But 2018 was used for 2019. So the whole idea is last year's videos are used to promote this year's event. Yeah. So like, that's the whole... Yeah, because yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. makes sense to yeah, just yeah, show yeah, them. Yeah. What so happened. This is what happened last year. So if you want to come to... expect through, something much more crazy. Yeah. Be, you know, Even the whole... I, that whole barber... Um, you guys had it. Oh, that, that was sick. Yeah, that was bro, it was like... That was like, really... Th- like the, you know the barber chairs where like the barber kicks the lever and you're like... Yeah, 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 yeah. It was those with like... The, with, the, with, the, with the... The foot rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that kind of barber chairs. Yeah. And they had like three just up in the front. Um, I can imagine like organizing something like that must be crazy oh, though. I helped I helped Chizzy organize the ones in 2018 and 2019 and it was hectic. It was like yeah. It's a lot of phone calls. It's like it's not just about get a venue, have the event, leave. Yeah. There's like a whole lot of logistics to. Like, oh, a lot behind it. Like yeah. yeah. Like how do we know who's paid and who hasn't? How do we yeah. know who's a contestant and how do we know who's a spectator? Oh yeah. You know who's gonna do what? Who's gonna be the MC? Who's so obviously you that? need like a mad team for that. Yeah. It was myself, Chase, and our other boy, Manga. We would, like it was initially just me and Chase, and then Manga jumped on board because he was always with us. So, yeah. But I commend you guys because even doing any event in Port Elizabeth, you made it an annual thing, thing. and each and of them yeah. have their own theme. Do you yeah. know how much effort that yeah, is? Yeah, effort yeah. That was That's a thing. Insane. And how was the turnout? The tu- okay, this year it wasn't as great as what we were. Or was it wasn't as great as what they were expecting it to be. But then again, like I said, it's just because they have to rebuild. The after three years, yeah. yeah. After three years, it's been a while, and like a lot of people are also like, there's events all over the place. Like nine out of ten times, people would rather pull up to like the gallery for a club event than like mm. yeah. something more. That's the kind thing. Of the audience, audience, and that's the thing PE with PE, audience, man. Because yeah. like I was so surprised when you said that there's like even cosplay events. In oh yeah, I mean, that's crazy. You actually, go to connect if you ever yeah, want to see crazy. some like really yeah, insane cosplay. Like I would like, I'd like to just go on a, like a cosplay event and just yeah. like vibe out. I probably just come through there in a plastic bag. <laughs> and then the black, because I don't know what I'd be. I just like come there randomly. You just pull up in a yeah. black yeah. paper bag, yeah, blah, 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 black plastic bag. A lint, a lint, a black, the black bag, the linda yeah. bag. I just cut my head there, just, <laughs> just like. Connect wait. was dope this year. It was in October, and um. Is it at the same venue every year? No. So uh, the first time I ever went to Connect could have been like 2017. Yeah. So and it's been was, around. It's, mm. Dude, it's been around. And I think the one that I went to wasn't even the first one, but that was oh, the first one I attended. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that one, um. That one was at the basement parking at Warmer Park Shopping Center. Yo, they got that code sign. No yeah, offense to Warmer Park. Yeah, they got they that. Full of, yeah. So they val- yeah. so they very, very valid. They yeah, verified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they so like you it was like they basically cordoned off a section of the parking lot and you could just walk in like you would walk in like a circle type. Yeah. And there was like a gaming station where you could go and play Xbox or whatever. There was a whole lot of different vendors selling like a whole lot of but everything at that event is all like either movie series games, um, anime. Yeah. Comics, everything. Yeah. And there'll be like a couple of randos who sell like bath bombs. Oh. But like for the day, they'll have like, you know, get these Theme. Spider-Man bath yeah. bombs kind of things. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, but yeah, that's they sell beauty products kind of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it's quite yeah. dope. And then I remember, then there was, the next one happened at NMU and then the one after that, if I'm, I might be wrong, was at um, the Fairview Sports Action Center. Arena. Yeah. That one was dope as well. It, it was, was very really small. At the, at the not not the, at the Action Arena. There's a building there's there. There's a building on the other side. You know, like... If you in the main road in Willow yeah, Road? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a yeah. building there. It was, was in German. It was a German, yeah. Like indoor soccer mm. type. Oh, I didn't there. know, actually. Yeah, didn't there know was one there as well. That one was dope. I actually won a competition there. I won, like, a stack of comic books one day. Because, like, you had to buy a book from the Anybody? store. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, you, like, put your name in this little thing. And then, like, the Monday they called me. I was like, hey, oh, can you come feature your books? Like I was like, some oh. raffle vibe, basically. Yeah, 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 essentially. Yeah, yeah. But you had to buy I'm f- sure you were book. geeking out. Yeah. So, like, that that is sick, one yeah. of the... Uh, you still uh, have them, man. Yeah, I was, oh, like, yeah. this literally, like, a bargain book shopping bag full of... Yeah, yeah. Like, stuff. And it wasn't even, like, just comic books. It was, like, I have the Marvel Encyclopedia as well, which was dope. <laughs> it was, like, a thick yeah, book. It's, like, yeah, that yeah, thick. Yeah. And inside, it's, like, basically, like, the full bios on every Marvel character up until that point. That Like, even going back to, like, the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Like they had, like, and even the way they, they were drawn. So, like, Connect is quite dope. And last year wasn't bad. Last year was cool, but this year was legit. The cosplay was really dope this year. Yeah. Um, and even, like, the setup as well. There was a lot of, there was a quite a variety in all the different stalls. Like, we never yeah. saw the same thing twice. Yo, like, there okay, might be yeah. somebody that sold something similar to the previous guy, but, like. But it was not completely the yeah, same. Every time you walk to a different stall, you would see, like, a whole new thing. Yeah. That's a random question, but do the den set up there or no? Yeah, they do. Okay, yeah, they do. The den guys never miss they it. They do what? 
the, the they Dana, it's, uh, they sell like playing some cards, playing Pokemon cards, cards Yu-Gi-Oh, that yeah. kind oh, of thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Comics yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a really Bigger cool store. also. Um, yeah. It's in Hurt Street Newton Park. If you guys want to check it out, there, this store is quite legit. They have yeah. quite new comics and like, especially if you if you play card games like Yu-Gi-Oh and yeah. Pokemon, they they all. I think I've seen that. I think it's store. isn't it like the that same street um, behind um, yeah, Nando's and shit. Pick and pay. Pick. I mean, uh, pick and pay at the same street. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've seen a small shop. I actually yeah. wanted to go in there, but like each time I go there, it's like closed. So yeah, then I normally like go over the weekends, like on Saturday mornings, or catch them open. I don't know how what the operating hours are like now, but they like can hook up. How long? Nice how long do you think they'd be open for? A while, dude. Like I there was like a time from the inception, like when they started. Open yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, there was I a time to, I used to be at, at high school, not even high school. Me and Dad and they've been and heard the whole entire yeah. time. Heard Street the whole entire yeah, time. Yeah, they used to be in Green Acres first. Yeah, yeah. This is years ago when we used to oh, play yeah, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's been hard mm. with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, to see it. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, did you yeah, play back? Guys, been back gone before. Yeah, as a kid, I had a few, but I was more on the Beyblades as a youngster. Oh yeah, Beyblades was my thing. Same, 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 same. And with the with the with the Tazos also. Oh yeah. There was, because I mean, you're asking about like how long they've been around for. Um, there was one year I remember I had to go and buy my Connect tickets from the yeah, store. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They were like the ticket vendor. So if yeah. you want to go to Connect, you have to go to their shop to buy. And that's how I discovered that they exist. This, this could have been like 2016, 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when I discovered the shop existed. I was like, oh, snap. I get so shocked that sometimes there's places like that that exist in PE. Because PE is so, you know, it's big but small at the same time. Yeah. So certain things don't really exist. You wouldn't think they exist. Like mm. the fact that yeah. there's cosplay events in PE is, is yeah, that is you mad for me. You actually reminded me about something now. And if you guys have seen it before, or if you know about it, please comment and let us know because I can't be the only person who knows that the shop existed. So in Main Road Warmer, next to Pro Dive or in the same yard as Pro Dive, yeah. there used to be a shop. And I'm so sad that that shop closed because it was one of the, it was like something similar to the den, but they didn't, specifically like specialize in selling like card games mm. they just sold like nerd everything so like you could go there and you could actually get costumes you could get like oh, like this is the first time i saw a harry potter school tie in front of me was at the shop i what can't remember was the name yeah it was like it was like 2017 2018 i can't oh, remember the shop's it's name quite recent actually yeah, yeah it's very recent but the shop unfortunately closed down and if you guys are wherever you guys are please have yeah, like a pop up or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's no fans. Yeah. There's fans yeah. out here. We, yeah. we yeah. connect and like uh, I, put I, up a store or something. People store. who normally personally would always think that I'm a Slytherin, but when I took my Pottermore quiz, I'm actually a Gryffindor and I need a Gryffindor tie. Yeah. So yeah. The whole, the whole <laughs> but how, where do you even do the test? I'd like to know. There's a website I'll send it to you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, that shop was like I got my niece because there was a time my niece was like super, super into Harry Potter. Yeah. So I got her a school, a Gryffindor school tie, and I got her a wand. And I think classes. I got a scarf, but I got the, like the whole yeah yeah mm. like the start mm -hmm. to get the school ensemble thing yeah. But they sold like so much more stuff. They sold comic books. They sold plushies. They sold badges. They sold like or like the little nerd drinks. Yeah you yeah, find. yeah yeah yeah. You could find it all at that store, and they were in Warmer, down the road from the shopping center in the main road. Yeah. Right next door, either right next door to Pro Dive or like in the same yard as Pro Dive. But I remember you, if you see the Pro Dive sign, the shop is like right there. But yeah. that's very. I feel yeah. like people, those shops won't survive these days, obviously, because everything you just order online and boom. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, like but it needs like a cult yeah, so following for those shops to actually yeah, um, to come yeah. through. I can't remember that shop, but that shop was legit. I've been to. I used to go whenever I was in Walmart. I would always go check and see what they had. Mm. Yeah, I just realized one. You guys are really nerds, though. I'm a yeah. I'm yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I'm tattooed too, like, but like. Yeah, Funny yeah, thing is, I'm a nerd, but like I've got a forearm tattoo. It's like Spider the Dragon from like the PS One games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yes. I remember, I remember <laughs> that. And yeah, like, I was, I was, I was point out, I was like, that's, that's like a, a Pokemon I character. I obviously don't have tattoos because yeah. I'm Muslim and whatever. Yeah. But that is commitment, my guy. Yeah. No, yeah. this is just to like. I know we, we spoke about shit. tattoos the last time we met up, but like with this one for, for specifically, like yeah. I've always been it a looks fan recent. of Spider. How long have you had that for? This is this year still. This yeah, yeah. Like it looks, it looks, it looks clean. Two months ish, three months ish. Yeah. This is like the, this is the most recent one I've got. But the story behind this one is that's a, that's like one of those cheesy ones. Yeah. I got stories to tell about everything, but this is like a super cheesy one. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> when I was like when I was a kid, like seven, eight, when my dad got me a PlayStation for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Right? PS one. Yeah, PS one, like the big with grey one. Yeah, with the yeah. With, yeah. The, with the two buttons. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, yeah. The, yeah. But I didn't have the PS one, I didn't have the small button, I had the big one. Yeah. It looks like a car amplifier mm -hmm. kind of thing. I had one of those. And that was most before the small one, obviously. Exactly, yeah, the small one was the, mm. the, Compact. the later to come slim yeah. version of every PlayStation that they make. But anyways, yes. so we went to game. I think my dad knew somebody who worked there and he was like, yo, just hook me up with the PlayStation for my son, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, cool, don't worry, I got yeah, you. Under the table. Yeah, 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 kind of thing, yeah, behind the counter kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, so yeah. we went and we picked it up and we came home 
And I had a game at the time. It was called Point Blank. For those of you who know what that game is, yeah, yeah. those of you who don't, it's a shooting game. Yeah. But to play the game, you have to have the gun controller. And I didn't have it. So my dad's like, ah, this is kind of pointless. So he went back and took me with him. Because the, pl- the PlayStation was surprised when I got it. But when yeah, he took yeah. me back, he was like, okay, cool. So the guy was You're like, gonna return it. Yeah, we went to return the game. Oh, just yeah, the yeah, disc. Yeah, the game the disc, yeah. Yeah. We kept the PlayStation, but we, t- t- we returned the disc. And then the guy was like, no, nah, just, well, you can, st- it's the same price as all the other games. So just swap it. Take, mm. take whatever else you want because you've already paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw this cover with this purple dragon, and I was like, oh. Might so as well. Let's see what might this not. is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, Bags. can you take this? And the guy's like, no, that's actually a good game. It's like, it's like for children your age and shit. First game I ever played, first game I ever finished in my life that's yeah crazy. and like ever since then like spider has like, like a spirit like i had the first one then i eventually got the second one later on i didn't play the yeah. third one but i always had like spider had like a very very like in the middle like in the pit of my heart there yeah, was like yeah. a spot for him always and then like fast forward to years later telling candace about this game like oh i love this game so much like oh, spider and she's like okay whatever i'm like <laughs> cool like i'm talking about and she's like she doesn't get dog for my birthday that same year yeah like I got Spyro. Like, like, but like later on in PS4. Yeah, yeah. So the PS4 one has all three of the Spyro games on one disc. And I just oh, casually open this thing and it's like, <gasps> Yeah. You had like a, a did you do it on purpose, Candice? She did. Played it off. Hilarious. She always does it. Like, it's like a thing. Uh, like, she always has, plays has off the Shout out to Candice. That's why though. <laughs> yeah, she always plays off the gift. She gets me. Mm. And then it's like, what I've been begging for this whole time. And she just pretends to like, like not hear anything that I said. Yeah. That's like, amazing because you know when <laughs> sometimes people get people gifts and they're so excited they can't wait to tell the person like I have this for you. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. to be able too. to like play it off is like crazy. The thing is she plays it off right but then when it uh, comes time like she's already bought the thing. Yeah. She like <laughs> is burning to tell yeah. me. Yeah. I get that. Because like, just, like don't, you don't want to ruin it. Yeah. yeah. So like with that and with uh, Miles Morales because she got me the Miles Morales game for Christmas. Yeah. Last, last year Christmas she got me the Miles Morales game and it's like She's been w- burning to tell me because, like, I'll do this thing, like, I'll be browsing, like, on the internet to work, or like, I'll go in the PlayStation app on yeah, my yeah. phone and like scroll. And then when the game's on sale, like, I'll send a screenshot, like, oh, it's on sale, but I can't buy it because I can't afford it. Oh, you And she's been, no, but she already had it, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. She already had it. That makes it hey, even more crazy. Funny. And wow. she's like, oh, it's, it's okay, babe, don't worry, we'll get it, you know, don't worry, it's fine. And she pulled mm. it out. She's already got it, like, hidden away at home. I'm like, yo. That's jokes. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's real yeah. love, though, yeah. man. That's real love. But like that's the but anyways the origin well that's why I have the spider tattoo was because like spider was the first uh, it was basically like what introduced me to gaming, and yeah. where I like fell in love with gaming and why I like gaming so much. I'm not yeah. like a super hardcore gamer like you're not gonna catch me online yeah, playing yeah. Fortnite and stuff guys. Yeah. Don't ever like my friends send me invites all the time like I'll Fortnite. be watching Netflix on my PlayStation because that's all I have the energy for like yeah 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 and my, I'll get like a notification sound and it'll be like. Oh, do let's invite you to play in Fortnite. I'm like, nope. <laughs> it's okay. You, 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 no. I'm just making an example oh, okay, of okay. I'm making because yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm making an yeah, example yeah, yeah, of Idol, yeah. but I I'm just like, nah, guys. Like compare games and whatever, but I feel like that's such a new age thing that Fortnite and League oh, definitely, and those things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you more take it in MK1. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. Fighting yeah. games all day long. Actually, and adventure games all day long. While we're on this topic, I actually have a blind ranking thing for you. That oh, cool. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Since we Seamlessly oh, but just something that, that I know. Thing. Oh, but something that I actually know about. Uh, that not okay, nostalgia like. games, basically. So oh, cool. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not oh, really cool, much cool, of a cool, gamer, cool, so cool. Yeah, I know. I actually have one for you also. Oh, okay. I did okay. it, I, like literally, but like okay, we can okay. talk about like all of them as we go along and what's sweet. Able. Basically, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rank one to five, but I'm gonna give it to you like without knowing the next one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put, but then can I sh- reshuffle the order? No. Damn. So, yeah. so it's damn damn literally a blind so ring. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Your permanent. feelings yeah. might get hurt. Oh, they're gonna definitely get hurt. So definitely. Okay, let's go. Nostalgia games, right? Nostalgia games. Yeah, okay, cool. One to five, ne? Okay. So we're gonna start with Spyro. But our spider is gonna be a one. Man said <laughs> all the time. Man said it's gonna be in his heart. <laughs> okay, yeah. spider. Okay, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just saying. okay. Yeah, so yeah. we're talking. If we're talking nostalgia games specifically, I'm. I will put. Okay, I'll. I'll. I'll leave room just in case. Mm, right? yeah. But I'll I'll give Spyro a two mainly because it was a dope game, but also it was very simple. It wasn't anything complicated. It was like yeah, it was this button is to do that, that button is to do that, that mm. button is to do that, and yeah, you run yeah. around. And like the objective for every stage you play is exactly the same. So like you go to each little world that you travel through the little doorway, mm. and you kill the bad guys, you burn them, or you you know you Didn't run. You like and collect and eggs or something. There was you, co- you collect a dragon eggs, yeah, and you collected. Um, Gems, mm. like literally, had like each different gem was worth yeah, 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 yeah. It was literally like currency. So like the red ones were worth one, the you know the green ones were worth another. They all had their own amount. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you just have to loot and clean up, and then as soon as everything's been 
handled, you leave. So I'll I'll leave Spyro at a two, but in my heart it's definitely a one. I leave it because you want to make space for, for something, yeah. In case something else comes yeah, up, something I'm, comes I don't know, up. I just drop like a tick and three, then I'm like, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, Biddy does it with tick <laughs> you and You probably there. shouldn't have said that. <laughs> tick and is on the list. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But we don't know which one though. No, 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 I didn't I didn't put the number to it because okay. I wanted to leave it like mad broad. Okay, but I'll leave Spider number two for now. Spider yeah, yeah, yeah. is a and solid two. What's the next one? Okay, let's go Street Fighter. Oh, that's also a good one. Mm. That's also a good one. But you see, the, like you're talking about like the general games now. I will yeah. I will leave. Let's 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 keep nostalgia in mind, maybe, because I went yeah. through like basically okay. pull out your heart strings with this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which kind of like man is confused make it right difficult now. Yeah. For you. If you had to go like specific games, like if you had to be like, okay, okay how do you feel about tick and tag? Like specifically that one, I'd be like, brah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually wanted to write that, but I just wrote franchise. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to so deep dive exactly. into it. Because of okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll leave Spider out number two. Because um, Street Fighter, Street Fighter, I would go, I would go three, mm-hmm. because it's uh, it's kind of changing up a lot now. It's not really about like the game itself anymore. A lot of the fighting games are doing that. So I'm just, uh, yeah, Street yeah. Fighter is a solid three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid three, especially because like, th- if you don't know how to play the game, you're gonna suck at it. Like, yeah, you really yeah. are gonna suck at it. It's yeah. not like and you can just pick it up and play. Spider, yeah. anyone can pick it up and play it. It's like it's a no, it's but a people game. also always like. Kind of um, refer to that as like a game anyone can play because it's button mashing. You just do it. Yeah, you just like yeah. yeah. So, but also, but right. so I leave Street Fighter. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll move. Okay, you know what? I'll move Street Fighter to to one actually. I'll leave it because they had some really good games. No, I'm just saying. Like I said, I'm leaving yeah. it because I'm actually like when it comes to the fighting games, I am more of a lately. Yeah, I am more of a Street Fighter fan than anything else because I was a mad, I was a big fan of Tekken and I am a fan of Mortal Kombat. But if you gave me the choice of the three, mm. I'd Right now, I'd play Street Fighter first. I'd be like, okay, let's play that first. We can play like Mortal Kombat after and take in whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, kind of just, just keep in mind, like when I say something, I'm yeah. talking about what it did for your childhood, like how you yeah. felt at the time when it yeah. came yeah. out. Yeah. The, the first game, first fighting game I ever played was Tekken 2. Mm. My uncle yeah. had a PlayStation and he had Tekken 2. So like Tekken 2 also has like a, like a place. Like but a the first fighting game that I played that I was actually good at was Street Fighter. So yes, I am I am keeping in mind like for yeah. the sake of yeah, 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 yeah. So Street Fighter was the first game where it was like actually whooped somebody's ass. Like yeah, yeah. Tekken proper, was like proper. they like, you know, proper smack proper me around. Beating, like yeah. I, I lo- got learned, like I, like I learned five, lessons. The a lot. 50 Cent Machine vibes. No. Yeah. Besides, I, it was I was actually thing. having a conversation with one of, a friend on Facebook recently because she, she, she lives in China now, and she started doing. Uh, it's hilarious. Mm. <laughs> we'll get back into the top five now, but Mm-mm. so she was talking about how um, she did Muay Thai classes for like two lessons, and she feels like uh, Higashi Joe from King of Fighters. Yeah, <laughs> like you know the dude with the yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He only he has like a headband and like his arms but are wrapped up, and he has like a shorts, but he always like he's like the Muay Thai yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I was gonna. So say I responded, and I'm like, "Tell me you're from the hood," without so telling me you're from the hood, because like. If you grew up in the hood, well, you, you know, know the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2002 Magic Plus, you let's go. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With, so like the, five, with the 50 cent coin you there. Know already so like, if on. you didn't grow up in a, like, or if you didn't spend time visiting family and like, in like in a yeah. hood type areas, you would not know King of Fighters. Yeah, East King of Fighters and Final Fight are the two games that if you spend time in like, let's call it the hood. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You would know those games, but if like you you grew up in the burbs, you'd know more of like the they send you the Marvel versus like Capcom. 10, 10 a.m. You come back after one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> literally yeah, spending fact. five and coins there, literally. <laughs> so like, and then we were like, because it was so like, because that's one of the things I also played was like the, and we were speaking about the shop where we would actually play mm-hmm. the King of Fighters game and Street Fighter Two with the fifty cent coins. But anyways, yeah. So that it is super nostalgic. So mm-hmm. I have a that is interesting. there's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a long standing history with Street Fighter. Hitting your heartstrings, man. It really is. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying, but I don't this think I really think we're probably gonna hit string. the top. I put Ratchet and Clank in here. I don't know. Ratchet and Clank is a dope game. I have a recent history with Ratchet and Clank. I'll yeah. leave that. Okay, just because it's also something very child friendly. Yeah. Like if I could play the game, mm-hmm. if you want to, like it's not. Yeah. You, you, you got a simple objective. You beat the bad guys, collect all the nuts and balls laying around, and you move on. The yeah. newer is a bit more challenging, but the previous ones were very easy. It's not like pretty really simple. Yeah, it's like yeah. pop in the. It's, it's, you just go there, you make sure everything is done. Like you collect all the things, you kill all the bad guys, and you yeah. bounce. So it's very yeah. very simple. I'll leave Ratchet and Clank at a five though, because I feel like there's gonna be something nice something coming much up. More five. Yeah. I still left one. Well, what's 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 one again? What did you say one was? I moved Street so Fighter up to number one, and yeah. I got Spyro at number two, two. So yeah. number three and number four still open. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so Tekken is on the list. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think you already chose. Okay, yeah. okay, Street Fighter. See, I Street Fighter is at one, one now. Yeah. Spyro is two. Yeah. 
Rational Clank is at five. five. So three and four are still open. Uh, depending on what he's going to say next, I would leave Tekken at a four, mainly for one reason, how, how I feel right now. Nostalgia side, like my favorite game of all time. Tekken wise is Tekken Tag 2. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah, yeah, it beans so a, so so we're going to go into that one. Yeah. So like Tekken Tag 2 was the best game ever, but with the way I feel about Tekken now, they've changed the game so much that I don't really recognize it anymore. Yeah. Like it's changed a lot. Yeah, so even like the characters the, are not yeah. as the same. I was having a conversation with Kershaw the other day. Mm-hmm. Shout out Kershaw. Oh, actually, eats. just sorry to interrupt you, but I saw you post about the fact that they're going to give Steve a kick. I know. Why would you do That's that? That's hilarious. Why? And went off. So, yeah, but I, I was losing yeah, my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tekken has characters that are based off of basically all the main fighting styles, right? So, like, you've got a kung fu guy, you've got a karate guy. And you there's got also a capoeira there. Capoeira yeah, guy. Yeah, you got everybody that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then theory. there's some guys who do, like, div- or like uh, derivatives of fighting styles. So, like, you'll have... A guy that does karate, but it's not like general normal karate. He yeah. does like um, a version of it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the Mishima family. They have like their own version of what karate yeah, is. Yeah. And Kazama family has the same thing. Blah blah blah. Whatever, right? Steve is a box that was introduced to Tekken in te- it's Tekken at Tekken Four. Yeah, that's yeah. when he debuted, right? First time in a Tekken game, you get a guy that can't kick. Everyone else <laughs> does, but Steve was a nice character though because his speed made up for the fact that he couldn't kick, and also. The kick buttons for Steve were dodgers, so he would do like Dempsey rolls and stuff. Oh, so yeah. if you like punch at him and you like you tap the kick button, he'd be like, "Whoops!" Nope. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Would, so was it funny. basically designed to dodge a kick? Nah, it was yeah. the, the the no not no. to dodge Just anything. Just in general, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodge button, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. the the left kick button for Steve would be a left dodge, and the right kick would be a right dodge kind of thing. Mm. So he would that's what his whole thing was about, and then. Everybody got so used to the fact that he was a box, so you, you would just throw hands all the time. That's all yeah, he did yeah, was yeah, jab, yeah. jab, jab, uppercut, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's like this rumor that gets dropped, like, oh, yeah, Steve's going to have kicking moves now. I'm like, no, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's how you're actually going mental. I was like, what? Because, like, you get so, you like, we want the game to be a certain kind of way. Oh, I'm going to speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody else. But I'm used to taking being a certain way. So, like, you know, okay, this character is there. They're going to do this. This is how it works. This is the kind of story that they're following with the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're just changing the recipe now. Because even in Tekken 7, what annoyed me the most is that the characters who would be staple yeah, yeah. in the game, you had to buy them now. Like Lei oh, Wulong yeah, yeah, yeah. The, of the Hong Kong police yeah, yeah, yeah. was a character you had to purchase now. Which is weird. It's like... Like with money, maybe? Or like yeah, you had to use money. Like, like you had to use actual money. Like, you know, back in the day, you would play like PlayStation 2 even. Up until PS2, I think even PS3 games had it. We, oh no, no, PS3 games didn't have it or Xbox 360 games didn't have it. But you could buy like Tekken, for example, and you played the game and if you won, the, if you beat the game, mm. when you came back again, you'd see a new character. Unlocked like you unlocked it. Oh, oh yeah. basically. Yeah. Nah, bro. Like now Tekken they want you to buy. To take your credit card out. Which is everything. Credit card. Yeah. But oh, it's like, hey, bro, can you imagine? I would have been fine with it personally if they kept the main characters part of the main story as normal characters. You could just buy the game and play with them. Mm. And then like Nagan from... Um, Walking Dead, mm. but I'll pay for him. Yeah, if I yeah. want him there, yeah, 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 I'll yeah. pay for him, no problem. That makes sense. But don't take like the people the that I'm used to being away. in yeah. the game yeah. out and make me pay. Like, I'm not gonna they're buy Nina. To, they're trying to I'm make you pay that. for everything now. They're trying to so, make you pay for everything. Yeah, that's, for me personally, that's what kind of put a sour taste in my mouth about Tekken because like the game's changing. Even like every time they bring out the game, they release like these new characters that they try and force into the story. It's like, like they were not initially there. Yeah, they were never really There's no backstory behind them. They were, they just got thrown in and like forced in like you have to accept them now because they're part of the main storyline. Yeah, like, no. So where did I put Tekken at? Four. Four. Yeah. I'm definitely you putting Tekken at four. Only one spot left though. And that's, that's fine. Three, right? Yeah, that's. Let's see what that is. Oh, I'd choose, MK. I'd leave Mortal Kombat at a three. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Okay, yeah. I leave Mortal Kombat at a three. So it's, it's, it's a dope one. What is yeah. number one? So number one, Street Fighter. Number two, is Spyro. Mm. Number three is Mortal Kombat. Four yeah. is Tekken. Ratchet and Clank is five. Just because it's a very simple game to play. Dope game though. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite that a neat and neat and neat. If you wanna, if you guys wanna play something interesting, just for the sake of, if you have a PS3 still specifically, go and find a game called PlayStation All Stars. So if yeah. you guys have ever played a game called um, Smash Brothers on Nintendo, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. a game similar to that. Yeah, yeah. I know Smash, Smash Bros. Brothers on Nintendo, and there's also Nickelodeon All Stars that is recently released. So there's a game that came out that has like a cult following of its own, and nobody knows this game exists which is very weird because yeah. it's a PlayStation exclusive, right? Which means you can only get it on PS, on yeah. PS3. Yeah. Specifically PS3. It's called PlayStation All-Star. So they basically took all the main characters from PlayStation exclusive games Oh yeah. and put them into like a Smash Brothers type environment and it's like just beat them up. So like you just beat 
everybody up <laughs> the whole game that's, that's so pretty sick and like it's like a, it's a, a point system so like every time you beat somebody and you knock them off the stage or you beat them until their health bars yeah, 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 yeah you win a point but then they revive and they come back and they just I saw a similar game like yeah. that dropped recently with or Nickelodeon All Stars yeah okay but it's like Scooby Doo and, and yeah, yeah. I yeah. know there was that and, and there was, there was, uh, it was I think it was called it's not DC Universe, but it's something along the lines mm-hmm. of where, like, there was like Batman and Frank, uh, some Shaggy from Scooby Doo, yeah. and like yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. in the yeah, game too. Yeah, what, it's but it was all this basically. Yeah, but it's an yeah, online yeah, yeah. only game, so you can only play the game online. But PlayStation All Stars and Nickelodeon All Stars are games you can just you can actually buy them mm. and play it offline. Mm. Where that one is more like Fortnite kind of thing, where you download it and you can play online with people. Mm-hmm. But PlayStation All Stars is a dope game because they had like characters from God of War in there. They had oh, Hayashi Mishima from Tekken. Sick. They had Ratchet um, mm-hmm. from Ratchet and Clank. Um, there was a couple other characters, mm-hmm. but they were all like it's basically just PlayStation exclusive characters yeah, that all just come into sense. a game and yeah, just yeah. beat the crap out of each other. Oh yeah! So if you want a really dope experience on the PlayStation, that's a cool game to try out. I guess not really much of a gamer like that, but like I think I should get myself a console so I can yeah. actually like try those games out. Just if you did, what would you get for Intersect? Because like there's a there's a, a tug of war right now when it comes to like the three. Let's call them the big three. So there's Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. Oh. Microsoft coming through with the Xbox, which is really nice. Sony has been known for making PlayStation. But didn't you just complain a few weeks about the about the Xbox upgrade thingy? You said something about the fact that it's the same thing, or was it the PS5? I can't even remember honestly. Okay, yeah. that's fine. But anyways, if I remember, yeah. I'll bring it up. So Nintendo has been like the kings of like portable consoles, like. With besides yeah, when they yeah, made yeah, the Wii, yeah, 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 the Wii yeah, was yeah, like yeah. the first time they were like, oh no, Famicom, and then the Wii later on. Where there's like okay, you can actually stay at home and play Nintendo mm. games now, but like they like the Switch, it's not bad. It's yeah, 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 yeah. You can walk around and play it, but like the Switch is like a watered down. Like if you have Mortal Kombat on Switch yeah. and Mortal Kombat on PS4 or PS5, the PS5 version is way, way. more detailed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Switch one is a, you I can mean, actually for, watch for the amount the PS5 yeah, cost it should be. Mad thing. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, I saw a. Si- I don't know if you guys pay attention to like things that pop up, like uh, this, depending on when this video drops. But for yeah. Black Friday specifically, I should actually show you the screenshot because I showed it to Candice. The PS5 mm. digital edition, so that means the one that you can't put discs in. Like it, oh, you can only mm. download games on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The PS5 digital edition was on sale. For those of you who are Vodacom subscribers or have Vodacom SIM yeah, cards, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a Vodacom app that you can have. Like it's called my, I think it's called my Vodacom. Yeah, I yeah. still have mine. They were selling a PS5 on there for three thousand four hundred and ninety nine. Yeah, no I way. swear to you, I promise you. That is, I have a, a screenshot. To prove. Sense, I'm gonna, bro. I'm gonna let Adil smack the screenshot. And how much in, is it initially, in, though? In somewhere in the edit, initially it's like fifteen grand. Mm, bro. Fourteen triple nine. They literally topped, the chopped like twelve grand or eleven grand off the price, and it was on sale on. But obviously, like there are scalpers who watch these places. Yeah, so there are Xbox yeah. Series X, Series S. And a PS5, but only a digital edition PS5, and that yeah, thing yeah. was being sold for three and a half grand. I promise you, crazy. I can't just can, she can corroborate my that's story because I've seen the crazy screenshot. though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Thing. Like three grand for PS5, three and a half grand for PS5. The one that normally that one normally goes for like eleven, twelve because it's, it doesn't have the disc mm. trace. You can't buy physical games and put them. in. You have to download them only. I think how, how much, much more is expensive is the, the disc? Which version? one is much like more expensive? Two, it's, like, it's like two grand more. Mm. So like the digital the one will be like twelve triple nine. Yeah. The this one will be like fourteen triple nine. And you were asking me if I actually w- yeah if you were to choose because like there's a gonna game be a lot or of guys console. Like I used to I used to have a PS two and, oh. and the PS two. So would you like stick to it and go? Actually, do, I still do have a PS two, but I need to get the controls. I used to love playing God of War. Yeah. That was my jam. God of War and games ever. FIFA two thousand and twelve. Yeah, but if you like now, like, okay, let's say let's say money wasn't an option. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like gave you this card like dinner. PS5. The black card. You gonna go PS5? Yeah, I would. Oh, okay, I don't right. like the control on the Xbox. I'm not used to it. It's just like so big for me. <laughs> it's funny. It's bulky. Yeah. Yeah, it's bulky. I don't like that. I just yeah. like the simple. I think I'm just used to PS2. So the simple, you know, smallness of the of the console. You know, the control. I mean. Yeah, I get you. You know, it won me over specifically like lately for when I bought because I I bought PS. I have a PS4 Pro right now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't have a PS5 yet. But when I bought my console, I had an Xbox 360. So I went, I went PlayStation One, PS2, Xbox 360, yeah. PS4, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have all four of them now. Like I got rid of the 360, and I have a PS1, two, three, and four. Yeah. But yeah. when I initially was gonna buy, because I initially was gonna get an Xbox One, I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sold on buying an Xbox One. And then Sony was like, Hey, guess what? We're making a new Spider-Man game that you can only play on PS4. Mm. And I and was I, like. Mm. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> like, That's how they got you. Because I'm a massive Spider-Man fan. So when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I'm buying a PS4. 
And nice. if money was no option, or if money wasn't a concern, yeah, yeah. I'd probably have an Xbox and a PlayStation <laughs> at this point in time. <laughs> well, if that was an option, Winston, I was no, like, no, no, I'm just saying, like, like <laughs> if, you, if you had to choose your preference, like, the, I chose a PlayStation because of Spider Man being exclusive. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've got. I've play, I have the Spider-Man game and the Miles Morales game, which I've, I love them both. They're awesome. Yeah. But um, if money, like if I had the choice and I could have both of them, I would have them both. But I would have the digital version of the Xbox yeah. that came out now. The Xbox Series is the smaller one. Yeah. Because I'm at, like the only game I'm gonna play on the Xbox is Forza. It's the only thing I care about on Xbox specifically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean like a couple of games like because Xbox, for those of you who have both or have had both and still have the apps on your phones and stuff. Just whenever there's a sale on PlayStation, go into your Xbox app or go into your Xbox and look at the price of the <laughs> Xbox equivalent. Xbox, when they have sales on games, it's always cheaper. Compared to PS. Compared to PlayStation, yeah. You might just save like 10 Rand, but you, it's always cheaper. Yeah. Legitimately. Yeah, yeah. One, one game that I can tell you guys about, like, you know that they may have made like mini Dragon Ball Z games over the years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a Dragon Ball Z game called, called Fighter Z. Isn't um, that like one of the newer ones? It's one of the newer ones, yeah, before yeah. they made the Dragon Ball Kakarot game. It's like mm-hmm. adventure game. But this is like a setup, like like Tekken kind of thing, fighting yeah. game. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like one-on-one where you guys just battle, just battle it out. I bought that game on the PlayStation Store. It could have been like 250 bucks, somewhere around those. That game came out like it was a full like AAA title. That thing was like a grand when you buy it brand new. Like that's, you the buy it. that's why I never actually right? wanted to actually own a console because the games are They're mad. Expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cheapest I've ever seen that game being sold for online was 170 rand on the Xbox Store. That's Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Really? I bought it, I, I'll double check for, for the sake of reference, but I know I paid more than an Xbox owner would have paid for it. Th- thousand percent. It was like yeah. 170 bucks. Wild, I was sending screenshots I to my friends with Xbox, like, yo, you want to get this game? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's grand. literally like the one before the latest yeah, yeah. of the Dragon Balls. And I mean, yeah. the yeah. game games. and the game not on sale is like eight ninety nine. Sure. So for to drop from eight ninety nine to one seventy, you also need to be very like vigilant on these deals and stuff. It's that's not good. something. Nah. Yeah, you have to like go and check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do have Makes to go sense. and check. Makes sense for real. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Are you still still gonna blind rate? Blind, blind, yeah, blind. We need to do I think we need to save it for the next episode because we've run out of time. But I do have the list here. All right, it's fine. Actually, the next episode is gonna be. Is but it what, what is it? What is it about though? Is it? What's the genre? Of, like, the topic of things. Okay. Just what give like the general topic. Yeah. Of what it's about. Black female celebrities. Yo. Because <laughs> of your your thingy. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's a current th- wallpaper on on uh, WhatsApp. That's why. Oh I yeah, 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 yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. there's a deep rooted story as to why I don't want to let's do a top five on that. No, uh, not at all. No, I no, no, just no. Went off the fact that he has Solange as his thingy. Big Solange fan. Yeah. Oh, big okay. Solange fan. I was yeah. a big Doja Cat fan. I still am. I wish that you listen to a new album. A devil. A little bit. No man. I listen I to like one I don't, song. I don't like and the I was narrative like that's actually being pushed about her. About her being a. I think she's just trying to like box out of like the whole um, good girl vibe. I feel you. No, but like I listened to her album. My album is pretty fire though. The album is dope, but like I just I like the old Doja Cat. I love the old Doja Cat. The Moo. Moo. Doja Cat. Yeah, Moo. Like Are I you? love me a little yes. bit after that. <laughs> what? Street really? Time. Moo was a dope I'm song. sure you watched the, the Kenny, the, 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 the cave episode with, um, what's the dude Kenny now? Beats. Kenny Beats. No, I didn't. Oh. Yeah, I've watched a lot of things. It's, it's a like. series, like, he just invites artists and stuff. I watched the on the, um, on, uh, First We Feast on the Hot Ones mm-hmm. recently. That yeah, was yeah. Because she was like, she kind of dove into like her music yeah, and what yeah. she does. Th- but yeah, I watched every single Wild Nut episode of the Wonder. Yeah. Every nice. single one. Yeah. Smash. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know her dad? Do you know her dad was actually in? Yeah. In Sarafina. Yep. <laughs> is, the, is the dude being bitten by the police dog? You <laughs> <laughs> make it sound yeah, so bad. You could have yeah. just said he's a South African actor. Yeah. Whom I went to know. Bess him. Yeah, what's, what's his name? What's his name? I forgot him. his name. It's like a, I think it's Chili's. I forgot. The Something the like that, yeah. Chester. Yeah. I want to say Chester, but no. But he's also on Yizo Yizo too. Yeah. He's quite quite a famous actor. Yeah, he is. Imagine if you got Doja Cat on the on the on the podcast and actually ask her, yo, so what's, One day when we what's, what's up, what's up like with what's you and your dad, yo? Yeah. Like, make her come home because, like, technically she's. I don't she's think she's African American, but South African. She doesn't claim South African. No, like, like, dude, you with Lamine, your name is Amanda. I mean, I give you South Amala. Amala. Yeah, Amala Lamine. Yeah. 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 yeah, I thought it was Amanda. Her album, one of her albums is her first name. Oh. That is crazy. No, it's, it's our mother. And Lucy Amina is quite like a prominent South African surname. Yeah. Yeah. Lamini so is like, Lamini. we've got, yeah. we, know, so we know so many Lamini. So exactly. Like you can't, you can't Lamini, yeah. you know. <laughs> you can't deny. So many Laminis in his. 
<laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I, could, yeah, I, could, I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Would you mind wrapping it up for us, homie? Me? Yeah. yeah go for okay, it. I'll wrap it up because I'm a rapper. Yeah. No pun intended. But <laughs> thank you guys for actually joining us on our second episode. Yes, sir. I hope to see you for the third one. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends, friends, and their friends, friends, so we can all be friends. Your parents also. If yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Your aunties, your uncles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro. You guys want to yeah. drop um, social media handles and stuff like uh, that? We'll put it in edit. I'll yeah. drop it in the edit. It's fine. I don't have Instagram, but I'll get it for the sake of yeah, my, <laughs> like my 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 um, my my Instagram got hacked, bro. And I was like, he's never bothered again. That's hey, what bro. They all say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my Instagram got hacked. It my, did, my bro. My Facebook got hacked. It, yeah. <laughs> I don't, it depends when I say that. I mean, if, um, if there's a lady involved, then he must have opened up a I'm link saying. he wasn't supposed to. Hello, hello, hello. That kind of did happen. Mm-hmm. And I was so bummed because, like, I used to call Costa Titch used to follow me on Instagram before he posted. Oh, damn. I was like, Costa Titch and a couple of famous um, um, designers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out, Costa. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Costa. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy. I was like, oh, bro, I'm so bummed out. And I don't know how I'm going to get the following again. I'm like, I never bothered after that. I was like, no, yeah. I'm just going to stick on Facebook. Yeah. And Facebook, I'm just like, touch and go That's either way. Like, you know, you DM oh, yeah. start on Facebook. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you next time. Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Yeah.